So the athlete coach relationship is an incredibly important one and it's something that I think a lot about, especially when I'm dealing with somebody in the fitness industry as well, which Matthew is. So he's quite knowledgeable and he poses loads of questions to me as a coach, which is unreal because when somebody comes to you and is passionate about it as well, it really drives you to bring a higher standard to what you're doing and also question your own process. So every week, Matthew would have tons of questions for me, like we'd stay on for a half an hour, sometimes we'd go over the half an hour, um, but I'm happy to do so because the reason he's inquisitive is because he cares so much and he's also learning loads as we go as well, which makes it a much more valuable experience. I will say that in our athlete coach relationship sometimes Matthew has and other athletes that I work with as well given that he's in the fitness industry he's so keen to change so many things at once that sometimes it becomes a little bit diluted and I'm like okay Matthew let's maybe just focus on two or three things here for this week see how they go and then build on them the following week so I think we built a very good rapport in terms of that and as well as that initially like I'd hear from Matthew we'd have to jump on a call every week because he'd have loads of questions but he's got way more confident in what he's doing now so now he might drop me a voice note every week but we might only have to jump on a call once every two three four weeks or if he's coming in person we'll just chat through things when we're in person yeah no i agree with that um like i said after the first few weeks uh you kind of get to you know uh, know the ropes a bit, uh, know the structure, um, especially that I have a bit of a background. Uh, it's not too much of a struggle for me to get to the gym. Also, I just um, like that bit of uh, you know reinforcement I get. Um, if I do something right, um, nice to be told, you know, to stick at it or keep going. And if there's like something you know I need to pick up on, then I can always be like, listen, I didn't get this done this week, but um, it's nice to know that it's either like, oh well, don't worry about it too much or you know you can focus on it the next week um, rather than like jumping a load of steps and it's just nice to sometimes just have that kind of coach that gives you that bit of uh, responsibility as well um, and you know you're 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 putting in a lot of trust into them in programming and that you know that they're already so passionate in it and it's their kind of speciality uh, it just makes a good fit then especially considering he's a, a very strong GA background working with teams as well so uh, it feels like you're in safe hands thanks Matthew <laughs> <laughs> um, just on that I think that was something that you definitely had to learn as well over time was that just because it was programmed didn't mean that it had to get done like sometimes we're better off if we're not feeling up to it in reducing our volume but keeping the intensity high especially on the days that you're working and if something changes in your scheduling and you have a match the next day or a pitch training the next day then you don't necessarily have to do the speed or should do the speed the day before maybe it'd be better just leaving it till the day of was that something that you you learned and did that benefit you yeah um 100 percent um so yeah if it like normally i would have been like uh oh, like i have to get this done you know because like it's there and if i don't get it done you know i'm letting someone down um whereas it's nice to have that bit of like reassurance that is like okay listen don't have to do all six exercises but if you do four to a good quality you know that's better and i can definitely feel that myself like um you know rather than pushing myself that a little bit too much and breaking down over time and over weeks so just always trying to keep yourself fresh and you know having someone that sees it from uh, the player's perspective as well and that someone that's so closely involved with uh, in-person uh, or pitch side coaching as well it's really important I think.